My blissful gorgeous selves, many people who live in England have very little knowledge of the history of their own country. The most of its 10 million yearly visitors gain only superficial impression as they come across the places. They visit its magnificent sea beaches, stonehenge, and British Museum and National Gallery and Oxford Street, Westminster Abbey and Tower of London and theatre shows of Madden, hmm, Madame Toussaint. These are all wonderful places, but you gain only a limited knowledge of spatial character of England. There is so much more depths and feelings of this country. So, um, telling you just short, because I lived in England, only in London, only just for one month, okay? So, its capital city is called London. Originally, it used to be famous as historical Londonium. Londonium. Okay, L-O-N-D-I-N-I-U-M, Londonium. Now, whatever we know of London is from the first century AD when Romans rebuilt it starting from the banks of Thames River from what is now known as the square mile area. It is the finest sector of not only London, England, or Europe, but the whole world. After the destruction, it was rebuilt from Southwark, which is now the center of fairs, pleasure buildings, inns, monasteries, and hospitals. Third time, it was reconstructed from the area where now Buckingham Palace stands, built in 703. AD. The city was devastated 50 times, says the history records. Last main destruction was the great fire of 1666, which burned four days and four nights. The blitz continues bombing from September 1940 to May. 1941 when 1 lakhs and 55,000 families lost their homes. It has made English people more resilient and fast builders. Now between, between uh, M25 and Green Belt area, 15 million life forms breathe. Each area of London, different culture and customs survive. They are dramatically different from one another. Another area which, which might be two miles away. What is the same with London is the same with the whole of England. Why? Because the entire Great Britain was forced to accept Christianity only in 597 AD, that's why. Before that, the British people believed in no religion but a lifestyle with no compulsive scripture, with no binding mode of worship and no binding kind of prayer with no binding mode of any of the territorial limit. English people believed in a universal way of life. Very proud and confident as they still are is left over a spirit of their glorious past. It did not recognize any distinction of color, creed and facial look between men and men, between men and women. They regarded all humanity as one family and the entire earth as a common home of all life. Their religion, if it was so called, their religion was a free thinker's club where everyone was free to have his, uh, his or her own spiritual thinking and practice. Multi-millionaire, fresh 
precious cultural heritage of Britain lies buried deep under 1400 years of superimposed coatings of misconceptions. These coatings have kept the Britons blissfully unaware of the great disaster that they were victims of spiritual fraud to drop their original stand on universal lifestyle. My dear friends, my evidence, I can tell you, is, is according to Encyclopedia Britannica, most ancient churches and cathedrals of Great Britain and Europe are astronomically oriented, okay? Christianity does not acknowledge astronomy or astrology as wisdom, vice versa, they consider them as satanic, yes, devilish. Then why these early churches whose construction times almost goes up to the time of around 2500 BC are so beautifully built, that means even before the birth of Jesus Christ, what to speak of accepting astronomy and similar kinds of knowledge were shunned, prohibited and condemned as pagan practices. Then how their sacred churches and royal palaces could be built astronomically oriented? Tell me, tell me how. It only means they were built by a former culture which had vast knowledge of not only astronomy but a strong elegant constructions, vastu and other hundreds of skills and make life more enjoyable and glorious in, okay, in, in 312 AD onwards when, when Emperor Constantine of Rome King Clovis of France and Charmine, Charmine of Central Europe began forcibly converting people. They also broke or converted their places of meditations and, and conscious evolution into these churches um, and cathedrals which are still before us in front of our, our eyes, okay? 300 years later, another crop of Islamic tyrants compelled people to declare themselves Muslims through terror and torture and tyranny and trickery and treachery and taxation and temptation. Most of the Europeans in these churches were turned into Muslims and masks. When Christians rose to power, okay, when Christians rose to power and, and fought back again, they drove Muslims away up to far land called Turkey. Then they reshaped these mosques into churches again as before. But even before they became churches, they were still places of cosmic evolutions and meditations with fantastic wisdom which is still to be discovered by brave English people and all Europeans. Is it the same wisdom mm, we are sharing? Okay, sharing. Mm, as, as, uh, as intergalactic culture. Mm, um, and uh, uh, discourses in London and in Trafalgar Square. Under the Roman rule, London was known as Londonium. It is supposed to be a, a corrupt form of its original name given by its founder who belong to another very high culture, possibly belonging to an intergalactic kind of culture. In pre-Roman era, it was known as 
nandonium or okay it is a pre latin word which stands for a stunning the beautiful pleasure garden in the astral or celestial world exactly as that when city called el dorado okay got pre hugins book the celtic druids leads valuable evidence indicating british islay had a world wide civilization and rule long before the roman conquest it was published in 1829 ad and available to see in british museum library of london Lille Borst, a well-known U.S. professor, writes in his wonderful book *Megalithic Software* that Westminster Abbey and Saint Paul's Church in London occupy the sites of ancient sun god and moon god temples. Encyclopedia Britannica tells us. well known stone age has been carbon dated to be 4000 years old it has astronomical markings to chart the rising and setting of the sun and the moon the divine symbol inside the temple are the deity walls so consecrated is to be in the mind by the rising sun's rays on the longest day it used to be taken in a procession to the avon river 3 miles away those days british people were known to be shaping their life day after day on astronomical considerations at the break of dawn on june 22nd the longest day of the year the druids gather at the stone hinge and facing the east they invoke the rising sun to energize our intelligence is worded in pre latin language in gayatri mantra dhiyo yo na prachodaya exactly as still many people do in india in especially the shanti kunj people Mm, the devotees of Gayatri Mata in Haridwar and Mathura also. Exactly as still many people do in India, Incas do in Mount Hades and Peru. Egyptians do, Aztecs do in, in United States of America. Okay, they used to do when they were when they were empires, when they were civilization. Mayans do in Mexico and sun worshippers are do in Bali and everywhere else. Pre-Roman temples lie throughout Great Britain in unrecognizable ruins. European scholars are being prevented by Christian fanaticism from publicizing them. Hill of Tara in Ireland is now in ruins, but it used to be. the ancient sacred site and which kings used to be crowned for centuries tara tara is a form of divine mother her historic temple is in tara peet bengal okay i visited several times heavily crowded with visitors all day whole year there is sacred love making mystery schools where where only alchemical approach to the ultimate is demonstrated and shared even i was stopped at the gate and they said mm, all you can you will be allowed if you have if you have mm, if you have a girlfriend which i did not have so i could not go inside a 5000 year old ancient train Temple of Human Evolution was discovered late in 1997 in Stainton Drew Ville near um, Somerset. Okay, any name of township ending with Shire um, testifies its population around the Temple of Human Evolution. Swami Colour Stone of Scorn. 
is such a holy stone of royal british antiquity which forms part of the throne on which every british sovereign is crowned gorge or george is mel pronunciation of pre roman wise men named gur who probably lived in british isle for a while his books and stories are found related with the start of many other culture in many parts of the globe yes one gargacharya was 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 the purohit means the royal priest of yadava family in mathura city who they moved to dwarka later on okay so understanding the culture of ancient england with which it ruled the entire globe more successfully and gracefully far more humanly far more humanly than it did in 1800s and in victorian era by the middle of the 1900s ad its uh, latest global rule was the most notorious one in the view of many scholars and politicians because during this rule england was not its own english people were far far away from their original heroic dignified faces they were converted to low class romans and their false beliefs such as ladies have no soul and 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 animals are made by god for men to eat mm. this kind of foolish idea which was forced on the britons after 597 ad with terror and and torture and tyranny and trickery and treachery and fixation and temptation they were not them but a completely hypnotized face hypnotized race with no knowledge of own ancestral heritage therefore regeneration reacceptance of its former value system former elegance and nobleness is very important with which its global rule was highly admired and all countries accepted it with 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 with, with um, complete loyal spirit never ever there was a rebel or voice for freedom culture consists of literature painting theater and opera including ideals of thinking speaking and interacting this also means systems of attitudes and values and and feelings which are learned in the family inherited or passed down from generation to generation at present in 2003 londoners or britons have no overall culture because large cross section of people have been settled up there because of trendy areas which frequently change up by pop star or film star activities now english people are more sensitive and receptive to others more than their former generation they are trying hard to understand that not to judge others on their appearance and dress code and views secondly everyone has right to his belief and attitude thirdly find a common ground for discussions and fourth spending time getting information on different religious culture and civilization and next third they know they now are not being aggressive biased and unsympathetic as former generations although they are just assertive this is good they are now willing to ask questions and listen to the answers and views they keep away from aggressive groups blind to other opinions okay such is crusaders and jihadis and terrorists and and 